hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to talk about different fish eye projections that fish eye camera use in order to project the object from the real world onto the image plane that is inside the camera so before going into detail first we will talk about the projection and the distortion functions the projection function in fish eye normal camera simply defines how the real world scene is mapped onto the a camera image sensor which also leads to the significant distortion so the projections function simply defines how the real world object for example the tree in this case how the object from the real world should be mapped onto the image plane which is inside the camera as you know when we map the object from the 3d space into the 2d space there are some loss of information occurs and it also leads to the significant distortion so this is the example of the pinhole camera and this is the example of the fish eye camera fish eye camera use the hemispherical type of lenses in order to capture the images that's why you also see the curved appearances inside the fish eye camera so the concept is same in the simple rectilinear camera or the pinhole camera the object or the light from the object pass through the pinhole and it hits on the image plane to the 2d plane and it creates the image of the 3d object onto the image plane and simply in the fisheye camera the light from the object passed through the lens and it hits here onto the image plane in order to create the image and what is the distortion function in case of the fisheye camera the distortion function simply describes how this mapping the mapping of the real world object onto the image plane deviates from the standard linear or the perspective projection which results in the unique curved appearances in case of fisheye images as you can see that in this image we have the fish eye effect you can see the curved appearances of the object but in the rectilinear case or the linear case you can see each object is represented by the straight or the linear lines so the distortion functions simply tell us how the mapping of the object from the 3d space onto the 2d space deviates from this linear projection so first we will see what is the linear or the rectilinear projection in a simple pinhole camera when you click the picture of some object for example b the light from this object traveled in the straight line and it passed through the pinhole and after passing through the pinhole it hits on the image plane here at this point so the light travels in the straight line so the light from this object passed through the pinhole and it hits at this point on the image plane and the angle between the optical axis and the ray of the object is simply denoted by the theta which is also known as the angle of incidence and simply the distance between the pinhole point and the incident point is also called the focal length which is represented by f and ru is simply the distance between the point of incidence and the optical axis and you can simply find the projection function by simply solving this geometry so how you can get the projection function the angle here is simply this theta which is the angle between the point of incidence and the optical axis so this is our theta here if you apply tan theta which is simply perpendicular this is our perpendicular which is ru and this is our base f so when you solve it you will get this projection function so this projection function tell us how the object from the 3d world should look like onto the image sensor and in fisheye cameras there are in general four different kind of projections are used the number one is equidistant equisolid the number three is orthographic and the number four is stereographic projection so first of all we will talk about equidistant projection this is the projection that is used by most of the fisheye lenses in order to project the object from the 3d world onto the 2d image plane here it uses the concept of the projection sphere for example this is your some object in real world called p so when you click the picture the light from this object travels in the straight line and it hits into your lens or on the projection sphere and we will see each point from the perspective of the center of the projection and each point should be seen from this reference from the center of this projection to that we will look how we can map this point from the sphere onto our 2d image plane so first we will see the focal length the focal length is again the same the distance between this our reference axis and the image plane which is the same concept in this pinhole camera the focal length is simply the distance between this reference plane and the image plane and theta is the angle between the optical axis and the ray from the object so in this case the theta is also the angle between our optical axis and the ray from the object so when you click the picture 
the ray from the object travels in the straight line and it hits the sphere at this point now how we can convert the point from this spherical shape onto the 2d image plane so it uses simply the concept of the equidistance it means it has to maintain the distance that is on the sphere the distance should be also be maintained for this object onto the image plane so for example if you calculate the distance of this point from this point so the distance is simply the arc length which is the radius and the angle so which is simply the r r is equal to f theta so when you project this point from this sphere onto the 2d image plane it should have to maintain the same distance that's why the projection in this case simply uses rd is equal to f theta to project the point from the sphere onto the image plane and second is the distortion function and in order to check the distortion how your image is distorted as compared to the rectilinear projection you can simply replace this theta by the term here r u by f tan inverse so you can put the theta here so you will get this tan inverse or u by f this is our distortion function which simply tell us how this mapping onto the image plane should deviate from the rectilinear case and this r u simply tells us the rectilinear case so the object in the rectilinear case should be mapped onto the image plane at this point but when you use the fish eye lens and you use the equidistant projection your the point in the rectilinear case should be here but in the equidistant projection the point is here so this is the distortion so if you want to calculate the reverse how much the rectilinear image is sorted as compared to the fish eye image you can simply use this inverse distortion function so next we will talk about equisolid projection it is a little bit different from the equidistant projection as you can see in this image everything is same the difference is only here the equidistance is used the arc length from this point to the angle of incidence and then it will map this point onto the image plane and it uses the same distance in case of the equisolid instead of using arc length they use the straight line distance between from this point to this point and then they use the same distance onto the image plane so the projection function in this case is simply r is equal to 2 f sin theta by 2 equisolid is also known as equal area projection it actually maintains the area of the object that is on the sphere so the area should be the same when you project this object onto the image plane and simply r u is simply the rectilinear projection function and the distortion function simply tells us how the point in the case of the equisolid deviate from the rectilinear projection point so this is the difference so if you map this point according to the rectilinear projection the point should be here onto the image plane but in the equisolid projection the point should appear here at this point so you want if you want to calculate this distortion you can simply use this formula and if you want to calculate the inverse distortion you can simply use the formula next we will talk about the orthographic projection it is also the similar kind of concept instead of using the arc length or the distance it is usually use the perpendicular line in order to project a point from the sphere onto the image plane for example your point on the sphere should be here it hits the sphere at this point and you simply draw the perpendicular line from this point onto the image plane and your point onto the image plane should appear here so the projection function is simply r d is equal to f sin theta in this case and simply the distortion function is simply this and the inverse distortion function is simply this and the last one is the stereographic projection so in this case similarly this is our projection sphere and the point uh, should hit the sphere at this point this is our focal length this is our angle of incidence so how we can map this point from the sphere onto the image plane so it simply uses this is the our image plane and this is our spherical so this is also the tangent at this point and you have to go on to the opposite pole here this so instead of the center of projection this is our reference point so you will map the point onto the image plane by looking from this point so you are looking from this point and you will draw the straight line that which passes through this point and it hits to the image plane at this point so this is how you can map the object from the 3d world through the fish eye lens onto the 2d image plane and the projection function in this case is simply this distortion function is simply this and the inverse distortion function is simply this if you want to 
know more about stereographic projection you can actually also see this animation how the stereographic works as you can see this is our image plane this is our reference point and we will map every point on the sphere onto the 2d image plane so i hope you have understand this projection this is it all about the different kind of projection that which i camera use so this is it for today i hope you have liked this video so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads see you next time bye bye